project yourself into the future, 50 years. Mm -hmm. How will the history of this moment get written, do you think? Mm -hmm. I see two possibilities. Um, the one possibility is the way we think back on the election of 1876. Election of 1876 was the backlash election against the first Reconstruction. It was the election that decided the future of African Americans for seven decades. It was the election that led to the um, abandonment um, of the newly freed slaves. It led to the destruction of uh, early efforts to create a public education system. It led to the disenfranchisement of millions of African Americans. It led to uh, the fact that the first black senator that we had after that moment didn't happen until the 21st century. I mean, that, that, that's the kind of thing um, that can happen, a complete unraveling of the basic infrastructure of civil rights. So we could look back with that lens at this moment and say, it's not just the fact that Trump got elected. It's also the democratic response, the response of civil society, the response of media that tells itself that the reason why this happened was because we've been too deeply associated with social justice. And so the whole idea is that we have to move back to the right to retake um, the white voter. Um, so it could be a history like that. I, I don't want that to be the history, right? The so so I, I say that when to say, let's try it to tell this story. Let's tell a story of, um, it was finally recognized that our inability to talk directly and persuasively um, about A, the expectations that um, have been generated by a history of white supremacy, of uh, class domination, of patriarchy, led us to a moment where we were easily divided. Um, and so we know we can't do that again. So anything that feels like it's going back in the direction that we came from is obviously not the thing to do right now. So just number one, not that thing anymore. Um, number two, so now we know we need to have better ways of talking across movements. We need to have better ways of determining how to represent certain issues. We need better ways of building movement infrastructures that actually ask how do we connect up. So I want to say that in 50 years, this was the wake up call. This was the moment when we recognize that actually we, we do have a greater constituency than we think. Um, we just now need to figure out how to be far more strategic and visionary about mobilizing these resources, mobilizing this energy. And we need to have expertise to help us um, do the jobs that we need to do to build the connections that are necessary. It's not just a word. Mm -hmm.